A company in Southampton is working towards fitting hybrid engines to water taxis in Venice. But the ambitious project will only become a reality if they raise enough money through a crowdfunding campaign. Our reporter Richard Enston has more. Reap Systems are experts when it comes to hybrid and electric powered vehicles. They've worked across a wide range of projects and now they've turned their attention to water taxis in Venice. We um, talked to a contact in, uh, who has got a, an island in Venice uh, who's very enthusiastic about the idea of making the boats cleaner and greener and that's when we started looking into the Venice um, market. Uh, and what we want to create is basically a system that any boat builder can put into a boat when they build a boat. Uh, it's like putting in a normal diesel engine, it's just a, it's a hybrid system, uh, which, which can have lots of benefits depending on how the boat is used, up to 50% you know, fuel, less fuel consumption for example. In certain situations a hybrid system doesn't really have much benefit, but for boats in a UNESCO World Heritage Site it's ideal. In, in Venice this technology makes a lot of sense uh, because you have some fast runs to the airport so you still need the power and, and the, you know, uh, the, of a normal diesel engine. Uh, but when, when the taxis then go around the little canals in Venice, this is where you want them to be quiet, non-polluting, you know, no noise, uh, no diesel emissions uh, and no vibration which is potentially damaging the buildings um, you know, through erosion. Uh, so we can get rid of all these problems in the little canals but still have the full performance when going to the airport. And, and, and when the taxi is going to the airport we recharge then the batteries uh, and then the batteries can be used to run full electric um, around the canals. The project is an exciting one but it may not even get off the drawing board if they don't secure enough funding. That's why REAP systems are appealing for members of the public to help them out. The, the project costs us uh, at least $250,000. I don't know what that is in pounds. We know it in dollar because it's how crowdfunding works. Uh, at the moment, our target we put out on the crowd we want to put out on crowdfunding is $100,000 uh, because, of course, we got to hit the target. Otherwise, we wouldn't be getting anything. Um, and, and that, but that would mean we would still have to put in $150,000 ourselves. So ideally, we are overshooting that target. Um, but we've got to see how it goes. Dennis believes that if something can be made better and be made greener, then it should be. But this mentality needs to be from the bottom up rather than enforced from the top down. I think, you know, we should do it voluntarily and enjoy that journey and say, you know, let's, let's take the <coughs> sustainability on as, as our challenge. Uh, there's nothing wrong with tackling challenges. Um, and, and, and trying to do it. Um, the issue with governments, this also happened in the electric vehicle uh, fields. They were in California, they were putting out the, the Californian Air Resource Board was putting out uh, regulations uh, re regulating the emissions of cars, uh, which was achievable, but I think the car, most car manufacturers lobbied them and said this isn't possible and they even sued them and they even won that case. So the governments can only put regulations in place which they can prove is something that is achievable. So by putting out a, a hybrid taxi board, we can basically show what's possible and then the local government can put that regulation in place. Looking forward, the hopes are that water taxis in Venice will show the whole world the benefits of hybrid powered boats. It, what is supposed to happen is that uh, we will test uh, the boat here in Southampton in July and then also arrange a few trips to show people that technology, so to demonstrate a little bit and test it at the same time. Uh, once we are confident with the technology, uh, we'll take it to Venice, uh, to our contact in Venice who is going to demonstrate it in Venice to the local authorities so that eventually they can bring that regulation in, uh, uh, demonstrate to taxi drivers. Um, so we will get a lot of feedback from taxi drivers, from the users. Uh, and the boat will be used a lot. So in Venice, these boats are used 20 hours a day, every day, by the taxi boat drivers. It gives it the right, you know, a lot of, uh, how would you say, usage. Um, so we believe if the technology can survive that usage, if we can demonstrate it is that reliable, then the uptake in other markets uh, will also start happening. 
Richard Enston for that solent. <laughs>